So there you can see the, uh, the top one is little S for signal and then the positive and the negative for the, the ground, okay? Um, and then on, on our servo wire, um, the yellow is the signal, the red is the positive, and the brown or the black, depending on the type of servo, is the negative. So all we have to do is plug that in here. There's actually room to put in three of these uh, here, but we'll just use for one. And it has three different settings and a little select button. One is the, the manual setting, so you can just move it back and forth like this and, and, and uh, see what the range is. Um, and and what, let me show you something here is like this servo is capable of going further than the throw of these eyes. So like you'll see that, you'll hear that little clicking. That's because that it, can, it can actually go further than the eyes uh, are built. And what I will do later on is when I go into my software program programming, I will use the software to limit the end throws of these servos. But that's, that's a little ways out there. 